Hey guys, do you want to go on an adventure with me? Then let's go for a ride. Did you guys notice that from afar, I saw that there was water, but as it was getting near to it, it is slowly disappearing. What is that? I know, that's a mirage. Huh? What is a mirage? Hello, did you experience what you saw earlier? When you're staring at a road on a hot sunny day and you might see water in the distance but as you move closer, there is no water there. What is this? Well, it is a type of optical phenomenon called mirage. Hi, my name is Joshua Mr. Kulima. Come and join me as I discover the science of mirage. So, what is a mirage? A mirage is caused by light refraction. Refraction is the redirection of a wave as it passes from one medium to another. Refraction is caused due to the change in speed of light. When the light goes from air into water, it bends toward the normal because there is a reduction in its speed. Now, let's talk about what we saw earlier, a mirage. As I said, they're caused by light refraction, which is a scientific term that means the bending of rays of light. Mirages are common in hot areas. When you're driving along a blacktop highway in high heat, it's common to look into the distance and see something that looks like water near the horizon. Mirage in optics is the appearance of an object or distant objects caused by the bending of light rays in layers of air of varying density. To make a mirage appearance real, an optical phenomenon in which light is refracted through a layer of hot air near the ground, creating the illusion of refuge in the distance. Now, during hot sunny days, temperature near the surface is much higher than the temperature above, which means we have a rare medium here and a denser medium above. And mirage occurs as a result of this temperature difference. It undergoes continuous refraction until it reaches the position where it experiences total internal reflection, which means at this point, the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle of incidence and the light is reflected and the reflected light enters our eye and our eye traces a straight line path after placing a straight line path. What we see in image there, we feel that the object is actually placed there. So, why did we see water earlier when there is no water above? Generally, a mirage occurs due to a total internal reflection of clouds. So, what we saw earlier is a reflection of clouds that appear like water. That's why during hot sunny days, we see bodies of water that could be nothing but an optical illusion called mirage. Oh, so that's what I saw earlier, a mirage. They're caused by light refraction and reflection of clouds. So, the next time you go on a trip and notice this phenomenon, remember it is called mirage.